Let's <laughs> turn now. Our next guest is a New York Times best-selling author, licensed therapist, and renowned relationship expert. Yes, helping folks speak up for what they want and for what they need. And now she is aiding others in creating and enforcing healthy boundaries at home, at work, and in life with her new upcoming release, The Set Boundaries Workbook. And here to tell us all about it is Nedra Glover Tawab. Thank you so much for being with us. And so this is a workbook that has checklists and exercises. Um, but what is the first step to building that confidence where you can set those boundaries? The first step is understanding your needs. It's so important to know what is working and what isn't working. And from there, setting the boundaries that you need to feel safe and secure in your relationships. Uh, Nedra, how are we supposed to process our own emotions? What does that mean? Uh, mean? And, and how is that necessary for us to then set up these boundaries we're talking about? Your emotions sort of give you a, a guide of what you need when you're feeling frustrated or burnt out. It is a sign that something needs to happen. So when you're feeling discomfort, take it as a message to act. All right, so if you're feeling discomfort and you're getting invited to a party you don't want to go to or uh, you have to go somewhere, it happens all the time in the holidays, not just with your family, but with you know, at work events as well. What are you supposed to do with those emotions? Listen to them and figure out a plan. Often we just ignore it and we think we have to push through and it continues to create more emotions. We get anxious, we get upset, we get resentful towards the person who invited us when often the solution is to say, no, thank you. Please invite me to the next thing. Maybe I could come, but certainly thinking of what do I need to do? What boundary is needed? Because we're putting ourselves sometimes, especially with invites, in situations that we do not want to be in. What are these obstacles that often get in our way? What other people may think or feel. It's really hard to set boundaries when our focus is what will they say? How will they react to it? It's scary because we want to be compassionate and we need to be clear, concise, and be consistent with our boundaries. We have to clearly state them. We have to make sure that we're saying them in simple language and we have to follow through with what we say. Following through, that might be the tough part. Any advice for doing that? It's one thing to say something and to have those three words and to have the plan, but then to actually do it sometimes takes a little bit more of a nudge. The doing piece is remembering that you cannot control the other person's response. We can say things very kindly. We can smile when we say them. No, I cannot come. And people can still be upset, right? We can't control their reaction, but we certainly don't want to put ourselves in situations where people are controlling us and we're not controlling ourselves. Uh, Nedra, can you show us that one more time? How do you, <laughs> how do you say no with that smile? Okay, because we're not good at this. No, so thank show you. us one more time. <laughs> <laughs> It is. That's a tricky part. It really, really is. But you are right. <laughs> yeah. The book here, the Set Boundaries Workbook. Nedra, it is good to have you. We're going to, to need this type of advice throughout the holidays, I'm sure. So we hope to see you down the road, okay? Thank you. And the book is on sale uh, December 14th, wherever books are sold. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.